Hi everyone, it's Thursday the 23rd of October. I know I said I was going to record every second week and I will be back next Thursday with my normal whip update but I've had quite a haul this week and I couldn't wait to show you. Um, I've had trouble trying to record this tonight. Um, every time it gets to about nine minutes it cuts out on me so I'll have to see how I go this time. So on Tuesday I went to the second hand store. I had a few things to take myself to their collection bin. I don't often go myself actually into the stores because dragging the children along isn't much fun. But I decided this time after seeing a lot of hauls on Facebook and on Flush Tube to see how my own luck would pan out. And I did find a few things and I went to uh, ended up going to a couple of stores. The first one I found this and I had a frame like this when I was younger and I know I've watched a lot of people's different um, framing ideas for doing cross stitch and I thought I needed to rescue this gorgeous long stitch that someone put so much work into and I will look into framing it myself if I can. This magazine here Country Craft Collection Needleworks. It's a 1995 um, publication and I did feel like I'd stepped into a time warp in that certain shop. This here is a gorgeous autumn sampler and made me think of all our stitching friends that are going through autumn at the moment and I love the fact that it has no pumpkin. Now I know a lot of you um, pumpkins signify autumn whereas over here they don't so much so it was great to find something without pumpkin. This one reminded me of my mother. Um, it's not cross stitch but it's got absolutely gorgeous embroidery on the frame. And also in here is the old thread conversion chart. I don't know whether they put it in every magazine that they put out. And it has a few different ones. It has CMC, Anchor, Semco, Madeira and Raj Mahal. Which the last two I've never heard of. Whether they stopped making them back in the 90s, I'm not sure. The next book I came across, which I walked past a few times, but then realized that it was printed the year I was born, which made it that I had to get it. <laughs> it is Creative Crafts Encyclopedia, and it has a lot of different crafts and goes into the history of a lot of the crafts. And there's just some gorgeous ones. It's got in here embroidery and it's got pictures of old samplers. This one here was done in 19, oh, sorry, 1779. And some gorgeous free embroidery done on a shirt which you don't see that often anymore. Although I know some of us do do cross stitch on waist canvas onto shirts and outfits. This one again reminded me of my mother's generation. Beautiful cutwork done on a baby's bonnet. And I can just see all the babies back in the early 90s, late um, 80s dressed like that for church. It also goes into basic knitting techniques and starting off on knitting and also many many other ones but I'd be here all night if I was to go through them all. 
So I went from there on to another, uh, the second shop, which I didn't actually find anything. But the third one, I hit the jackpot. First, I noticed this little one. Gorgeous little coffee cup, like an owl. And I know owls are very in at the moment. And I've only got one other little statue of, the, of an owl. And it's actually a, I guess, a memento of a trip I went on. But I couldn't go past him. He is so cute. He was only $6. The others that I show come to $11.50 for the entire lot. And the jackpot that I mentioned was what I'm sitting on. I walked up to the back of the shop and I saw this uh, couch suite, I guess you call it, I'm not sure. <laughs> um, lounge chairs, we call them. Um, there's a three-seater and two one-seaters. And I saw the price on it and I nearly fell over. And I grabbed one of the ladies that worked there and I said, is this right? Surely there's missing a few numbers on this? She said, no, 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 it's fine. I said, what's wrong with it? Nothing. I couldn't see anything wrong with it. I sat down in them. They were fine. You do sink into them. They're a bit hard to get out of, but a lot of couches are like that. Um, so I said, I can't leave it. I said, I have to get it. $50. $50 for the entire set. So I just had it delivered today. They were kind enough to deliver it for me. And my brother and my cousin were kind enough to come and help me shift around some furniture and get it into the house tonight. So I was very happy. I have a new stitchy spot. I've been longing for a nice, comfortable couch or lounge chair to sit in, and now I have it, and for such a price. So that's my haul, and I was extremely happy coming home Tuesday um, with that, and... I will be going back. I don't imagine I'll ever find something like that again, but I will be back to see what they have in the line of craft and stitching magazines again. As I know they have a quick turnover, especially the third shop that I went into. They sell a lot of new things as well, so they're always great to visit. So I'll leave it there. I do want to say thank you to all my viewers and all my subscribers. I think the last I checked, it, I was up to 53 subscribers, which is amazing for me um, that you want to sit there and listen to me talk away. Um, I'm trying to get a little more comfortable in front of the camera. Uh, I'm one of those people that doesn't like talking to an answering machine and sitting here feels a little like that, that there's not someone there interacting with you but I know you're watching and I love watching everybody's videos so I like to bring that to you as well to show my progress and show what I find. And so thank you and keep stitching and keep posting and I will see you next Thursday. Bye.